RougeRadio.com, Jen speaking with Coach Jerry McGrath of the Concordia Stingers. Hello, Coach. Hey, how are you today? So, in addition, as if you weren't busy enough being the head coach of a very strong CIS program, you've decided to start kicking camp. Yeah, well, I, you know, I uh, having played in the CFL uh, as a kicker and, and uh, not finding much coaching or help uh, in that regard uh, and just watching what's happening in the CFL now where they've had to bring in some American kickers, uh, I just thought it was about time maybe that we, uh, we help coach up some more Canadian kids. We've had a great run at Concordia with kickers uh, and, put, and producing some CFL players, and uh, I just... Uh, Hopefully I can help some more young men uh, get that opportunity. So the camp is running in uh, July. Yep. In Montreal, mm-hmm. obviously, since that's where you are. Uh, July 8th through 10th in Montreal. And who is this camp for? Well, it's for anybody that want, either wants to learn how to kick, uh, being younger players, uh, you know, 13, 14, uh, to elite kickers, uh, uh, aspiring CFL players, uh, CIS players, high school CJEP players, uh certainly all are welcome and and uh we we just want to with the younger kids get a good base and with the older kids hopefully fine tune some of their uh some of their strokes or swinging motions and and get them a chance to make some money so i i'm reading that you've had uh 30 all stars in yeah. 20 seasons yeah that's a really astounding record when you think about it considering how many other players you know have you know, how many other teams there are. To have that number of all-stars in the punter kicker position, seems like you have a virtual lock on that. Well, we've we've done quite well. Again, we've been able to recruit some great kickers, and and certainly uh, once we have them, we've been able to develop them. And uh, you know, we've had we've had two first round draft picks at the kicker position over the years, and uh, actually they were they were the first uh, first to be first round picks in CFL history. And this year, the two. The two CFL punters, East and West All Stars, Hales and Mike Renault, were both C- uh, uh, Concordia players. So it was really, uh, again, we've had a good run at it, but it's. Uh, I think there's a lot more to be done as far as developing young kickers for the CFL. And is this camp going to focus on one aspect of kicking, or is it going to work to make the more traditionally Canadian uh, all round kicker? Well, I, you know, I believe. Everybody, everybody's looking for someone that can do both in the CFL, uh, and certainly there are enough young men out there that uh, that can do both. Uh, it, it's a little bit harder to, to to do both and develop both skills, but uh, but certainly with a little bit of coaching and a little bit of help, uh, I believe there are, are more than enough people out there uh, that can get the job done. So part of this is to kind of try and stem the tide of Americans taking in the CFL and try and keep this a Canadian position. Yeah, I, you know, I'm I'm a Canadian. I coach Canadian football. I love Canadian football. Uh, you know, it, it would be unheard of back when I was playing to have an American uh, kick, unless, of course, he was a starting player at another position who could also kick, uh, going back to a Sonny Wade kind of thing, uh, uh, you know, who was a quarterback with the Alouettes and a great punter. Uh, but but to have someone just kick and be an American, I, I think, is a, is a waste of a roster spot. And, and certainly, uh, I think we've just dropped the ball. We've fallen down a little bit in developing kickers at a younger age, and hopefully I can help bring that back. So what do you think the most important aspect of coaching a kicker is? Uh, patience, because as we know, most kickers are a little squirrely. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you being one can say that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, certainly, uh you know, you need to be patient, but uh, more more than that, you just have to have a good eye for what's right and what's wrong, and and cultivate each man, each player's uh, different style, and not not try and change it completely. If you look at at golf, for example, every every pro golfer has a, a swing coach, but yet every player swings a little differently. So uh, sometimes it's more about cultivating what somebody does than, than trying to change them completely. And it's all the little nuances that go with that, I think, that uh, uh, really make a kicking coach uh, worth his weight. I know for a while there was a lot of talk about uh, soccer-style kickers. Yeah. Have they? Has their day come and gone? Or are no, they they're, popular? They're, they're here to stay, that's for sure. Uh, uh, scientifically, uh, a soccer kicker has uh, more surface to hit the ball on. 
and can incorporate more large muscle groups. So he'll he will have more power and more consistency than the old uh, toe kicker. Right. And so to explain for if anyone in the audience is understanding, a soccer style kicker is doing what? Uh, he comes from the side, as opposed to straight on. So you're you're hitting with like the side of the front part of the foot. Yes, instead of the toes. Another question that I have to ask. You've been at the Saskatchewan Rough Riders camp uh, for the past few years. Yes. Right, working with the kickers. Uh-huh. Um, but there are no dedicated kicking coaches in the CFL, to, my, to our knowledge. No. Uh, you know, the only the only team, I guess, that would have pretty good kicking expertise would be the BC Lions with Wally Bono, former teammate of mine in Montreal, and, and uh, also a very good punter in, in, his, in his day. And Don Sweet, a great field goal kicker in the CFL, helps him out in BC. So uh, I think they have their bases covered, and uh, I think it shows. Paul McCallum's career has, has uh, been much better than ever under their tutelage. And, uh, of course, uh, the young man, uh, Pat White, who was uh, traded from BC to Montreal, uh, was developed as a junior player under Wally and Don. So I, I think they've done a good job and have that expertise, but I, I, I don't believe many of the other teams have that. Do you think it would help a CFL team to add that coaching spot? It, it sure does. I mean, I know budgets are tight, uh, but your special team coach, I mean, that's something you may want to make a criteria for a special teams coach. Is he's, he also has a, a pretty good background and knowledge uh, to work with the kickers. Uh, you know, I, you know, most of the special teams coaches can coach everything and anything but the kickers. <laughs> it's, obviously, that becomes a problem. Because, I mean, there is a popular notion in football that you can't coach a kicker, and obviously you don't believe that's true. No, it, it, a kicker is like a, any other position or uh, or in any other sport. You know, your goaltender in hockey is a little bit different, and uh, your baseball pitcher is a little bit different. Uh, I was at a dinner a few weeks ago, with, and spaceman Bill Lee was, uh, was speaking, so certainly uh, he was very different. But, uh, yeah, personalities are a little different because the position's a little different. But uh, certainly when uh, when the chips are down and you need that three points at the end of the game, uh, you, you want to hope that your young man's being well coached. Right, and I think a lot of it is because the kicker, you know, doesn't necessarily need to practice with anyone, right? They're out there on their own either before or after practice. The image of, the, you know, the solitary figure just kicking balls to the uprights. Yeah, and, to... and of course, yeah, and our, my goal is to make sure that uh, I educate them that they can coach themselves, you know, give them enough knowledge to know how to fix their problems as they arise so that they don't have slumps or, or go into a, a, long, a, a long period of poor kicking. Do you find that it's possible, like, that a bad game can spiral, just like with a hockey goalie or a you know, Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's so much of it is mental. And, and once you uh, once you fall into a situation where things didn't go well and you start to have self doubt and it's it's uh sometimes if you don't get any help or at least a good sounding board somebody to to bounce things off of uh you know that's that uh slunk you know, slump can go on for uh, a prolonged period of time and uh, of course at pro football that ends up costing you your job right so it it very much behooves people to get good coaching Exactly. Your camp is again July 8th through 10th in Montreal. Yeah. Uh-huh. At Concordia University. Concordia University. And they can um, sign up or find out more information at uh, center68.com and click through the links and you'll see the um, registration form. And it's a very reasonable amount of money it's $350 for three day, two night weekend. Right? They get And they, get, uh, they also get a video. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll video the kickers, yeah. Is video a good tool it, in helping? Yeah, I, I I truly believe it's the best teaching tool to uh, to be able to see yourself. Uh, I think b- makes things much more clear. We we will try and limit it at some point because uh, certainly I don't want to shortchange anybody by not being able to get them the attention they need. So uh, right now we're good to go and. Uh, but again, I, I I don't want to get to the point where uh, I can't give a, an individual young man the attention he deserves. Right, and you're going to um, it says that you are going to personally send the results of the combine to the CFL skips for the team's review. Yes. So definitely for somebody who's you know maybe a, a CIS athlete who just wants to get that edge going into the next season, this is a great thing to come to. 
I, yeah, no doubt. This, uh, I think, this is uh, something where we can gather some data, and uh, it'll it'll help uh, anybody who performs well or, or is coachable. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll help get them a chance to, to go and play in the CFL. Best of luck with Kicking Clinic, and thank you so much for spending some time with us. Today. All right, thank you. This Bye. has been Jen speaking with Coach McGrath of the CIS's Concordia Stingers for RougeRadio.com.